Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Tory MP and former Secretary of State Therese Coffey. Now she was the head of departments like the DWP, Health and DEFRA during the height of the effluent scandal, which hasn't really ended. Anyway, you probably know why she's Fool of the Week. She attempted to correct a Labour shadow minister's geography when it came to Rwanda. Have a listen to this. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's important yeah, yeah, yeah. to speak in this uh, bill today. I have to say, I was somewhat astonished by the speech of the Shadow uh, Home Secretary, who can't even get the name of the country right, talking about the Kigali government. We're talking about Rwanda. You know, respect a country that has uh, recently been president of the uh, Commonwealth. In that regard, though. <laughs> so, Yvette Cooper, the Shadow Home Secretary, and Stephen Kinnock are having a bit of a giggle here. Um, but maybe. Therese Coffey is right. Maybe it's not Kigali. Maybe it is Rwanda. Well, look, of course, the capital city of Rwanda is Kigali. And when we're talking about governments, we sometimes use the capital city to represent the government or represent the country. We've sometimes seen in the media, for example, Dublin is taking London to court, to the European Court of Human Rights over a legacy, Northern Ireland legacy issue. Um, The EU is taking London to court over not implementing the Northern Ireland Protocol or something like that. So sometimes we refer to the capital city as the government. So when Yvette Cooper referred to Kigali, well, she was right. Um, Now, this begs the question, how the heck did Therese Coffey become a minister? How did she become an MP? Who the hell votes for these people? But how did she become a minister? There's no meritocracy involved within the Conservative Party. You know, if we look back at some of the great, you know, great conservatives, if you want to call them great conservatives, but at least decent politicians, Dominic Grieve, for example, these were people who knew what they were talking about. And they were replaced by these charlatans, these fools. Lee Anderson switching his vote because allegedly he was giggled at by a group of Labour MPs. Where do these people come from? How can the Conservative Party put these people into positions of power? She was the Secretary of State for the DWP, deciding whether some people lived or died. Then she went into health, deciding whether people lived or died. And then she was finally at at DEFRA, the Department of Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, deciding whether the environment lived or died. And we saw the consequences of that. Now, she later came out after and said, of course I was talking about... Um, the government in Rwanda. I knew what I was talking about, but it was a little bit too little too late. And that's why she's our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.